Wahala be like bicycle on this VB in Zanzi street. So guys, every minute we are open to new thing. Like it is just so much at this point. Hey babies. What's up my darling MVPs and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shosley Mimi where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see the heart. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the heart. At this point with Jared, it is giving Jared go reach everybody. This one else is discussing outside with Jared. Hmm. Baby girl, do you think you're going home on Sunday? Because she's like trying to guess about Jared's personality and was like, um, Jared, I don't think, I think there is more to you with this thing you do in the house. But this is not the gist, guys. Let's talk. Wow, guys. Hey, God. Oh. Anyways, what happened is this, guys. You know that um, yesterday that I was just seeing you all on how Yolanda retaliated, you know, revenge on Papa Ghost. You know, this was the exact setting. This conversation happened at that setting. Okay. After Yolanda displayed all, um, did whatever she wanted to do. And that, that scene passed, right? You, I said, Yolanda, sorry. Lerato Modise and... um. What was her name again? Liema was having conversation. And the conversation started off with um the Jari thingy, you know, the Jalim push -ship, how everything was going on. In fact, it started when Liema was telling Lerato because Yolanda was passing by and she said, they said I am good with sucking down below. That is P. They said I'm good with sucking D, you know. Then I had to do it yesterday. And then Lerato was like, yo, you do it. You did it. Papa Ghost was even there then. I was like, you did it. That was where the conversation started. Lerato started asking um, Liema, are you going to continue with Jared outside? Do you think it's something you want to do? And then Liema was like, I am even with Jared because of we are in a closed space, in a confined space. Outside, it is blocked. Pa, 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 you know? And then she was like, though Jared said he would want us to have something outside, but if he is doing something like this inside, what will he do outside? You know, Lerato was like, she cannot even take what Lema has been taking from Jarida. She can play any game, more, but she cannot play with her emotions. She cannot be disrespected. She cannot take disrespect. And I now remember, I'm not flashing it back the previous week. I remember calling Lerato out on her advice to Liema. Guys, you guys will bear me witness. If you were a fervent viewer, right, you would bear me witness that... Every time Lerato would advise Liema to always kwechiri. Do you know what kwechiri means? It means you you stay put there, you go nowhere. You pin, you full ground, you break it. That is what kwechiri means. Lerato was telling Liema all the while all those shenanigans was happening. You and I would, if you're being truthful, you would remember that Lerato, Lerato was telling Liema that she should not leave Jared for this girl, that she should stay with her man. She should not let this girl take um, Jared away from her. Like her, today she think they will come and try her sheep, that she's not leaving her man for anybody. Can you guys remember that? Now she reverses the case. She's now saying that she cannot take all of that. If Liema was smart and sharp, she would have asked her and said, but you were advising me then that um, I should stay put with Jared, you know. So they were having that conversation. As they were having that convo, they were not talking about relationship outside. Liema was like talk, saying that, in fact, there are many people watching them right now. You never can tell a guy who would love her will be outside. And then Lerato asked about someone and she was like, is it my bestie that I'm in love with? Lerato was like, yo... Were you in love with your bestie? You know, they were having this convo. And then Lerato said, oh, she has even forgotten she has a crush on someone outside. And then Liema was like, she do not have a crush. Her crush is someone. And then that person is from the production team. And then Lerato was like, she actually called the person's name, right? And Lerato was like, okay. But Lerato was trying to guess who the person was, you know. And then she was like, photograph photograph meaning maybe the people the team who took their pictures you know there are various stages to get into biggie's house you know after they have accepted you they, are, they would undergo various stages you get and then the rat now said something that they wanted her 
to have a thing with Sinai and she was like, you're hypo. How will I have something with somebody that looks like my brother? I don't do yellow skin. You know, and Lema was like, oh, they did that with me and Z too. They did that with me and Z too, you know. And then there was something Lema was trying to say about Jared maintaining eye contact, right? And then she was like, um, that they wanted her and Z. When she was trying to say some things, the camera noticed they are saying things about the production. They now removed it. So after this happening, knowing fully well that this show started off with people calling out on production, you know, it was not looking in a kind of way. People were like, wait, does it mean that production tells this housemate what to do? You know, so Biggie, you people have been telling this housemate what to do. How can you guys tell Lerato Modise to go date Sinai? Now, Lema was trying to say her own with Z, you guys remove it. Does it mean that you guys are the one telling Z to stay pute with Papi and this thing has been irritating her fan base? And you know, Netizen started saying a whole lot, which we are going to be seeing on this particular video. You know, I am one person who feel this show is um fair and square, right? But at the same time, when all of these things happened, you know, it's giving the narrative people are talking about because immediately after the Rato and Liema had that conversation, before you know it, Biggie called Sinai to the diary room and then Biggie called Liema to the diary room. When they came out of, out of the diary room, they started being playful and all of that and it was looking, I don't get you know, it was not looking like it's buying towards the narrative that netizens were saying. Guys, I watched this, but netizens are trying to bring it multitude, except for me, because I don't know why it is sounding different. The conversation I heard, I did not hear when Liema said um, they told her to break up with Jared. I did not hear it. I don't know if I don't know if there is somebody who followed the show back to back. When Liema and um, Lerato was having that conversation, do you think? Did you hear Lema say they told her to break up with Jared? And the aspect where Lerato was talking about, they said she should date Sinai. I think it is not based off on the real, real Big Brother team. It's based off the people behind camera, all these photograph people and all of that. You know, they would have their own suggestion. This housemate had link. I keep saying this thing, that when it, this show might be fair and square, but this housemate had link that made them get into the house. They did not get into the house free and square, no. They had link, and those link might be those people who would actually give them all of this advice and be like, date this person, this guy will be there. They describe the person and everything. Now, netizens are saying a whole lot that Lema says she knows he, she knows um, Jared from, sorry, Sinai from outside. So people said, yes, she's following um, Sinai's girlfriend. That is true. So a whole lot is brewing out of this. But what I just told you guys earlier was the exact thing I heard. Lerato saying they told her to date Sinai and then Lema saying the same thing for herself and Z. But I did not hear when Lema said they told her to break with ja break up with Jared. So now fans are questioning this particular show. They are like, this thing should not repeat itself. In fact, I think I have spoken enough. Let's go to the social space so you would see it yourself. So this is how netizens have been sharing the video. As you can see, this was the interpretation people gave it. Liema, Biggie told me to dumb Jared and they wanted me to, to be together. Camera shifted. That was not what me I heard. But I heard the production asked me to be with Sinai. I said, no, I can't date with yellow, you know. But people now added salt and pepper. I do not know whether it is me that I had, uh, have a hard hearing. And I did not hear the part of break up with Jared, you know. And then, these are the replies. Esther said, they should also help us with C and P. Even if they don't want to break them up, they should help us tell them to quarrel and ignore each other for two weeks. That is all we ask for. Like, I'll be the happiest person alive. I thought we were assuming things about production, but guess what? It was actually true. That means Z accepted her own production plots. Now, netizens are carrying it, you know, that all the housemates are doing everything based off acting. That they are all carrying production plots. Now, my question is, why do you think they would want to carry production plots? For what? Would they pay them? That's what I want to get. What we are hearing here, what's are we hearing a scripted show hmm pitiful now Sinai is reminding Liema while she's sitting in his lap that when they were on the same flight as he was going on Liema said Shh, means this these people knew each other before entering the house okay Sinai was actually having conversation and said when they were in the same flight interesting hmm or more I don't blame netizens so I don't 
The other day, I refrained myself from sharing the details that I have received about the light-skinned dude. It is just sad that while some housemates landed up on this show based on their personality, other came in with production personnel already mapping up the game for them. Chiso seemingly they sent Papi to be with Z and they called Liema to reprimand her in the diary room. If this narrative continues to sell right like this, I don't think there will be a BB in Zanzi again. Maybe maybe after a long while it will come back. Ultimate Ten said, I knew this shit was rigged when certain housemates got fake evicted and some get a chance to save themselves from nomination all in the name of twist. No, this one, it happens in BBN. If you can they are twist to that one, like housemate can go and come back. And this thing of what's his name, Willie, it can also happen. It's just luck luck on his side, right? So the conversation Lerato had with Liema, I still believe that it is based off backstage thing, you know, from Biggie's itself production team, you get. Maybe Biggie promised them a win when they play by his script, or he could be using them for views and engagement. I am sure Biggie just reprimanded Liema. He called Sinaye too. This show is something else. They tell housemates who to align with. I am shocked. Now, remember Big Brother All-Stars, where CC then were saying some things some people told them, people who know the production, you know, on what will hap happen during the course of the season. Liam and Sianaya know each other before Big Brother. She shushed him before he could spew. She follows his GF, so I am not shocked. Or more, this part, I did not hear them have that conversation, you know, whilst um, Liema was sitting on Sinai's lap. I did not hear that. The only part I saw was them playing. But if this really happened, no more guys. <laughs> Wahala be like bicycle indeed, you know. Nala they said, has Rigi started calling them to the diary room one by one for damage control yet? Now, you see with all of this thing happening, if they call the winner at the end of the season, people would not believe it. They would drag the season to field and then it might just rest for a while. This baby that they would rest for a while. And this thing of frequently calling housemates in and out of diary room when it's not diary session is not landing well. Show us everything. Otherwise, what Lerato and Liema have been saying is connecting the dots. Omoi Choko. Hey, wahala. Wahala, guys. Production told her she's the main character. That's why she's too relaxed. Doesn't take tax seriously. Always sleeping and unbothered. Don't think I will watch season 5. Clearly, we are watching a scripted show. Care Telemundo must. But guys, I don't think it is that deep the way people are taking it. I would really love to hear from you guys, my darling viewers, okay? What do you think about this, you know? Though I know that I have some majority who would want to, because this might not be going in line with their faith, they would accept this notion. But I think it's not based off Biggie itself. You know, I don't know. It is how you guys are still surprised about this show. So you already trusted a live show that lost transmission for more than 12 hours. Laugh my ass out to. Anyways, vote Yolanda, please. Can they end the show now? Scripted show forcing Z into that boy whilst telling others to end their relationship. Reality show scripted, losing interest. No wonder they show us people sleeping rather than show us people having convos. Too scared they will let something sleep. <laughs> Omo, the dragon production, he choked. He choked like the drag no be here, guys. Noma said, now it makes me wonder. The second wife that is in Pumi nominated the first wife many times for the same reason that she is violent. It is then jiggy jiggy. She nominates Hobby now. She's the first wife cheerleader. That's Biggie's doing. Big scam. But wait, guys. Hold up. How do you think they want to play this game to the detriment of others? Would they pay them? That's my question. Would they pay them? I believe production likes to see that being with Papi will advance her game. Because why would they tell Lerato to date Sinai? The fake eviction and immunity makes sense now. Scam show. Like I said before and I will repeat again. I think what Lerato was saying with um Liam, I think it's based off off stage, backstage, like... All this photography team and all of that that knows people that will be coming, you know. I said it as something must have happened. They planted the seed and per Madame Rule book, not wanting to offend the producer. This girl actually believed them and thought they have her best interest at heart. Sana not knowing they were making way for their pets. Or more the matter longo. We all know how much people have been waiting to actually come for production because they already have it in their mind that production has a pet. So right now the drag is non-stop. And I do not blame netizens because with the conversation the housemates are having, like guys, he choke. 
Everyone was pleased with Zinzi gain the way she was moving the first few weeks, and boom, the, the campaigning started and Lawrence solid, solidified their plan with the questions to Z. How did young papi know that the public hates him with Z? Why did you instruct Liema to break up with Jared? Corruption is everywhere in this country. You all have ruined BB for us. I wish BB USA team can produce BB in Zanzi. You all are unprofessional and emotional. They are actually tagging BB in Zanzi Pedro. All the while we are watching a scripted show, forcing narrative and controlling the narrative. A BB in Zanzi don't ever bring BB in Zanzi again. This season has so much potential. Three weeks of straight fun until you started controlling the numbers. You evil. Maybe they told Papi to make sure Z is never alone. Oh my guys. All I'm seeing is actually scattering my head at this point because <laughs> it is not making sense. Putting them together, it is not making sense to me. That girl been knowing she is taking this from the moment, they started calling her in the DS. That is diary session. Countless times and every time she comes out, she adjusts her game. Come on, we clocked that BS a long time ago. That's why she has this cockiness about her because they know. Stop voting your faves, please. The show is scripted and Liema is winning. Don't waste your money and vote. Bunch of people that will still go and beg their neighbors to vote their ball rights. This is a Liema stand saying this. Anyways, guys, I don't know about all of this, but all I know is if you vote for your fave, your fave will win. They will not take out your fave win to someone else. I will still repeat it. They will not take out your fave win to someone else. With all of this conversation that is happening, maybe in one way or the other, it is before the show right whether sinai and z has met each other maybe when they were coming they booked flights for them together or something guys i think there is more to that i don't think it's based off on the housemates are told to act in a certain way in the house anyways guys me i'll be dropping my voice right here and now because i have spoken enough about this i would really love to hear from you can you drop your two cents especially for those who really watch this back to back tell me what did you really hear do not add up your own i beg tell me the truth like if you heard the same thing that i heard let's operate in the comment section okay thank you so much for always selling with me babies and do make sure you have a remission stay wednesday bye for now babies